So this is the 4,000 watt uh, Dutch treat room that I just harvested. Um, this is the new setup here uh, with the ducting. Much better. Uh, just kind of lowered them about as far as I figured I would need to lower them. Um, you know, ever, which is probably about four feet off the ground maybe. Uh, the plants I'm going to be bringing in here, they're going to be uh, probably, you know, three feet tall. So, um, you know, it's about as low as I'm going to go with these lights. Uh, if I need to, I could probably, you know, figure something out where the ducting's not too short. But uh, So just kind of set that up uh, a little differently. Um, I really don't like this ducting. Uh, it's like a tinfoilish type material. Um, this stuff's like plastic and it's flexy, that's nice. Uh, this shit's the same way. It looks like that tinfoil stuff, but it's like plastic and flexy. This is the fucking tinfoil. And just looking down in the ducting, it looked like there was just like a thousand million pinholes in it. And I don't know if, um, if that's why the air cool doesn't work as well in this room, um, through the hoods, because these are fucking way smaller hoods. Um, so, I don't, I don't really know. That's my only, it's the only thought. I, pretty much everything's tight. There's a couple splices, like right, like right there, there's a splice in the ducting, but pretty much everything's solid. There's one here too, but um, this one I just fixed recently and it's, it's pretty, uh, it's airtight. So, I, my guess is it's just this, this fucking tinfoilish type ducting. I don't even know, like aluminum foil, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, that stuff sucks. The plastic stuff. Uh, it's much easier to put on, um, so it's a lot easier to work with, but anyway, yeah, I just kind of cleaned it out, just vacuumed it out, um, I'm going to spray it down with some bleach and some different stuff, um, just to keep it nice and clean. I put put the panda plastic up as far as I could, I didn't. I just kind of worked around things, I, I'm just not in the mood to fucking take that shelf down and just to straighten up panda plastic, I mean, that's, that's above ceiling height. Uh, most, you know, average ceiling height's like 8 feet, this room's like 12 feet, so right that shelf is right around 8 feet, so I feel like, fuck it, I'm not going to have plants that are that big, and I, I'm, I'm not bothering with a ceiling wrap or doing anything crazy, I mean, this room's already been together for a while. Uh, the floor, I'm very tempted to paint it white, um, that's kind of my, that's kind of my thing, uh, I might might kick these lights on and heat this room up, shut all the AC off, shut all the intake off heat this fucker up and dry out any of the the uh, patches in the floor and then maybe like mop it or something and then I might paint it. Uh, I'm very well considering that so you know it wouldn't be I wouldn't paint the whole floor but I'd paint um, the shit the 8 foot by 7 foot space that the plants are going to be under and you know just kind of have some reflectivity off the floor so that would be good. Um, anyways, I just got some more cleaning to do. Just got to clean the hoods, uh, clean up the fans maybe a little bit if I have time. Um, they definitely need it. That's kind of a sign of cleanliness is just, you know, fans clean, hoods clean, everything's clean. That's what I'd want. But um, anyway, yeah, getting ready to move some new plants in here. So they're nice and big. They're like, they're in the 20 gallon pots already. They're like, I don't know, probably about this high, somewhere in there, so I might have to adjust the lights a little bit, but other than that, yeah, I mean, shit's kind of crazy in this room, I never did like, I don't know, I'd pretty much have to tear it down and kind of restart it, I, it was just done in a hurry, um, could have done a better job, but I was by myself in a hurry, so that's what equates to having this shit, but I am so glad that I can actually um, not look at this part in disgust because that's actually uh, some non-restricting uh, airflow. Right there is a little bit restricting, there's a little bit of a twist in it, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I got it all straightened out. The reason why I have that much ducting um, and the reason why I dump it out so high uh, is just to get the hot air, is to keep the hot air up, you know, since hot air rises and, and then have my intake down low and so that just keeps the air. Um, from going out and it, it doesn't, you know, dump out right next to my intake to, you know, cancel out the the uh, fresh cool air effect. So, uh, yeah, that's up there a ways, but I mean, I gotta have that ducting that long. That's probably, oh, five or six feet of ducting right there, just for the fact that I need my lights to be four feet. Uh, 
at least you know about four feet off the ground, maybe a little less, uh, just in case I do have to bring some pretty small plants in here sometime or something. But uh, the ones I got coming in here, it's all Dutch treat in this room. I forgot to mention that I thought my next for some reason I was on the mine track that I had some MK Ultra coming into this room, uh, just like that other room has. But I don't. This is all going to be Dutch treat. And then I'm actually going to, uh, I think, depending on what that MK Ultra looks like, I'm going to ditch it. So, anyway.